So, my name is Ben, this is Sanros, and we're working on what's called Synex Medical. So, we're using multi nuclear magnetic resonance to differentiate between cells. Basically, we're making brain imaging better. So, there's three major companies in this field right now Siemens, Philips, and GE. But in the structural MRI field, we haven't been seeing much innovation from them over the last 10 years. And we really want to change that. Let me tell you why. On the left here, <laughs> so your left, my right, um, we see a normal human brain. But this normal human brain could have any of the diseases listed on the right, except for the cardiac diseases. Um, and we wouldn't know at their early stages at all, right? Um, now, we think that if you can have over a thousand apps on your phone, it really doesn't make sense that you can't get a, one of the most leading brain scans in the world and not have a diagnosis for these diseases. So we want more granularity so we can see these things more clearly and then we'll tell you how we did it. So what we did was we went straight to the drawing board. We looked, we looked at the very fundamentals of magnetic resonance. We looked at what we could change or what we could do to increase resolution and contrast. And we found something really interesting, and that's called the membrane potential. And what that is, it's a voltage across the membranes of cells, and it's maintained by a specific concentration of ions. And because different cells have different membrane potentials, they have different concentrations of these ions. So if we could detect these ions somehow, then we could differentiate between cells. And doing so would produce spectacular images, because at high resolutions, we could differentiate between extremely small intervals of cells, like the ones you see on the right. And compared to structural MRI today, you can see radiologists and doctors have a much better understanding of what's going on. So we ran this idea by a bunch of experts, and we got great approval from all of them. So we reiterated our, our idea and made sure it was rock solid and we're ready to move forward with it. So now that we have this amazing theory, um, we needed to take it forward to the next stage, right? But before we could ask, start asking investors and VCs for money, we need to have more than just numbers and theories. So we went to the leading innovation, or the leading simulation developing company in the world, Ansys, and uh, we partnered with them, and they essentially gave us $300,000 of software for just the legal fees, around like $200, um, and a bunch of time too. So now this really ensures that we can make sure that our theories can actually translate into the real world and become a reality. Um, so another really exciting thing that just happened over the past week was that we incorporated, so we're not just a bunch of, a bunch of 16 year olds writing stuff on the board and expecting it to work, but. <laughs> but yeah, so this is really cool. Over the next few months, we're gonna be doing simulations and if you have any questions or comments about what Ian and Mir just said, come talk to us.